Well, welcome to the first update video or talking video, which is basically where I just update you guys on everything, especially like through the week with the videos that's going on and stuff like that. So the video with uh, our Monday's video where we were doing donuts and stuff in the car uh, was super fun. <laughs> the car got super muddy and that was still a video like where we talked about that or whatever but update on the car it is overheated this video will come out friday this car did overheat uh the fan quit working i guess it got it clogged up with mud because it was pretty bad i done cleaned it i done washed it so it's not muddy anymore obviously but the update with this car is we're taking the fenders the doors off and we're cutting the rear quarter off and trunk and all that so we're going to do away with all this and basically it's going to be a, a uh, hopefully it will be a, <laughs> it'll be a uh, cart car. So that'd be pretty cool. And if you're seeing this <laughs> big old dent in the trunk's pretty mangled and the rear bumper support is gone is because I tried to climb it in my Jeep, as you can see right there. Um, it didn't necessarily work. It got all the way up here and it crushed in the trunk and then I let off the throttle and it f hit the ground. But it was very fun to try and the, uh, the Jeep did fine with it. And there's another update. I've got a light bar, which is right there, to go on my Jeep, finally. I got the correct brackets to go on it because the stock brackets are not going to work it is a 52 inch light bar i think it's either a 50 inch light bar or a 52 but it's, it's huge either way and uh i bought it for 100 bucks it came with wiring and a switch and everything already ready to go those are the stock mounts which are not going to work so that's why i got those so i'll have a lot more on that thing finally my hinges are will be done soon. I'm getting those cut so I can put the doors and stuff back on it and take it off whenever I want. This is the new piece, or not necessarily new, but this is the new piece or new addition to the channel. And this is an update, not an update, sorry. This is a official announcement that we're doing the go-kart wars, I guess. I've always talked about this, not necessarily to this YouTube channel, but I've always talked about this with, along with my friends and stuff. We used to build the go-karts. Jason was one of the original people that built go-karts with me, and you see him in a couple of my first videos that we got serious with, and actually the go-kart that we built, the Chevy Aveo that we took apart, Jason was a part of that, and he helped me take that car apart. <laughs> and... Uh, Pretty cool how uh, stuff works out like that. But anyway, he helped me build go-karts back a long time ago. Not really a long time ago, but it was back when we was like 17, 18 years old. And um, so we built go-karts and they were really fun. We built, we built three or four in the time span that we had them and we've had more than motors, more motors than go-karts, obviously. We had a lot more motors than we did go-karts because we kept having to piece together motors and and um, it was super fun. It was a really fun time. Well, at one point we had four people with go-karts. One was Dylan, me, and then I had another go-kart that Jason rode. And then I think Jason had another go-kart eventually. I can't remember exactly. And there was one more person, but I can't remember who it was. But anyway, we used to build go-karts. We used to race them and drive them, see how far we could go. We actually, we actually built one one of mine that would literally run like 40 to 50 miles an hour. And when we get to Holly Pond, and at the time that was a lot, that was fast for its time because of how old we were and how back then it was. So that was quite fast for what we what we were accomplishing. But anyway... That go-kart was a legend. It is no more a legend because it blew up. It caught fire. Actually, the motor come off that go-kart. I put it on Dylan's and it caught fire. 
But anyway, sorry about rambling. <laughs> but this is an update talk video. <laughs> uh, this is the official announcement. Me and my friends, we all have go-karts. Um, I have this one, and I'm getting another one soon. And we all have uh, similar ideas of what we're going to do. And we're all going to have like a build thing where we're going to build the go-karts. Or buy go-karts or whatever we're going to do. And then we're going to have like a series on the go-karts where we ride them and drive them or whatever. So it's going to be super fun. That's just like a... I didn't want... I didn't know if y'all um, wanted to hear that. But, but yeah. So that's where this comes in. This is just a go-kart that's been sitting by a tree. And uh, this is not necessarily the go-kart that I'm going to build. This is one of the go-karts that we are building on the channel. But yes, this is this is going to be one of the go-karts on the channel that we will be playing around with, building and whatnot. We have a couple ideas for this. Because it's such a big, heavy go-kart, you know, it needs a pretty good amount of motor to push this thing. So what was on it was a 150cc engine. Not totally sure what it, engine was exactly on it because it's not on it now. <laughs> but we will be getting something thought about getting a Predator 212 engine or a little bit bigger of an engine to go on it. I don't know exactly yet. I've also had the idea of putting, like taking a dirt bike and fabbing the motor on here, some motor mounts to put the motor on here. I think the the dirt bike engine or maybe just an old street bike, uh, like a junk street bike that's been wrecked or even a cruiser engine, put it on here at least a 300 cc to four uh not four 300 cc to like an old ninja 500 r or maybe even a 600 cc i know that sounds like a lot but it shouldn't be that hard at all to put uh an engine on there especially when you build the mounts put the engine on and then um everything else is just you know you could set everything up. It's very easy. It's not very easy, but it's it's doable is what I'm trying to say. I think it would be really fun. Uh, of course, get new tires all the way around because the two fronts are blowed out and flat. And these two are uh, losing air because they're dry rotted. They've been sitting a very long time. So, yeah, that's the idea for that. It's going to be fun, I hope, anyway. But it should be like a, a good long project. I do plan on doing more stuff to the Jeep. Like I said, I'm going to get seats and just other different stuff. I just It's just my, you know, I drive it all the time. So, <laughs> um, not really, I'm not really trying to fix this up super fast. But the idea here is to make this thing a go-kart super fun that everybody can play with. That's going to be a super long project. Not a super long project, but it's going to be a good long project for sure. I don't know if we're going to keep this basket or not because the gas tank is on there. We may just fab up our own gas tank like we did uh, our old go-kart, which I don't have video of. And then, of course, we got this. I bent a tie rod in on it. You'll see that video Friday. <laughs> uh, bent the tie rod in on it on the driver's side. So I got to order a new one. And basically, like this wheel sticking out like this and this one sticking out like this. So it's pretty pretty rough. Uh, the idea is to get smaller tires, and I'm I'm getting a grinder Friday, so I can go up to this line and just start grinding this out, and smooth it out, and cut all that out from underneath it. And we're gonna put the trunk back on it. We've get done got the back seat back in it, and yeah, maybe put a roof rack on it, like I was saying another day. And that's kind of the ideal plan for it. It was. It was supposed to be a gambler vehicle. Um, the plan is still use it in the next gambler. If I don't get another vehicle before then, the next gambler is in October. So we will be attending that. There is my trophy <laughs> from the last gambler. And I'll be adding something from here to that. And uh, I want to make it uh, memorable. So I want to get like a good part or two off my off there that so like it could be remembered so i thought about using the shifter because i got a different shifter for it so i thought about taking that shifter off 
and putting it on there and going I don't know maybe the shifter and something else but we're still like I said still playing around with those ideas and yeah so that's all I really got to update I cleaned my shop <laughs> I put some more stuff on the shelves I cleaned all that out in there moved that sh uh, shelf down I got a new table and I put my park shelf on top of my table because it was the right size. So, yeah. And there is still a plan to do the long-form podcast here. I just don't know when it's going to happen. So, I'm currently building a computer. Uh, goodness, I can't talk. I'm currently building a computer to put in here. And uh, that way, when I do have events, uh, we can... Or events. I don't know why I said events. When we do have this sort of stuff... The long form podcast stuff. We can set the PC and stuff up right there and do the camera here and we can do the podcast there. And I'm getting an air unit this weekend to put there. So this shop will be air conditioner. Finally, or air conditioner. The air conditioned. So it is so hot and it sucks coming in here and trying to work in the heat is awful. So this is like a big hot box. Even with the doors open and this door open, trying to allow. I put a fan over there to allow airflow through, and it's just miserable. So uh, this weekend we're putting a unit, air conditioner unit, in that window so we can chill in here because we have been hanging out in here recently, especially when we've been playing with the RC stuff. My buddy got me into uh, a Traxxas Slash. I'm buying one tomorrow. Uh, he's been bringing his stampede over with when we've been driving it up and down the street, it's been pretty cool. So we're, I'm getting into that sort of stuff. Got been flying my drone a lot. So uh, a new one of my buddies, Josie, is getting a drone. He's he's gonna start flying with me and stuff. So look forward to that. I hope you enjoyed this update. If any new viewers, new subscribers, um, I did notice my last video did get a couple subscribers. So glad you could join this is just like i said every wednesday is just an update video a talk video and that way i'm not that way i'm not crowding up the real videos with talk like this so every the schedule is monday at 6 p.m uh normal video wednesday at 6 p.m this kind of video choose or not tuesday uh friday normal video 6 p.m and then of course it repeats the next week so, if any other changes come, I'll update you guys and let you know. But this is, as for now, this is what we're doing. So, I hope you enjoy the go-kart series. Because I'm going to enjoy that. It's going to be so fun. Um, cutting this thing up. I know it doesn't sound enjoyable, but we are. it's going to be enjoyable. It's going to be fun. So, cutting this thing up and turning it into a go-kart. And, yeah, just everything else. Like I said, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like me doing the update videos and stuff like that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the Monday's video. Friday's video comes out. Uh, normal time. 6 o'clock. And it will be where I bend the tie rod in. And overheat this car. <laughs> so. Um, oh and another thing. I'm going to cut this out. Cut it there. And like here and here. I'm going to bring the radiator out. So let me know if y'all think that's a great idea. So I'm going to bring the radiator out, and I'm going to build brackets and stuff for it to hold the radiator up. It's going to be lifted up a little bit. I'm going to put new, because um, this is what's holding me up right now is these uh, radiator hose. They're too short. That's why it's sitting like this. So, yeah, bring it out, put new radiator hose on it that are a little bit longer that will allow that, and then uh, a fan. Somebody did tell me to put the radiator in a trunk, but the problem is there's not going to be any trunk. <laughs> That's going to be an issue. Uh, I've also thought about putting it up here, like on the bar, and just mounting it here and putting a fan on it and everything. But the problem with that is we'll have to have a water pump to pump the water up here. So that would be the only issue, I guess. So I think we're just going to start with this. Chop it here, here. Chop all this off because it's got to come off, obviously. And then bring the radiator out and just build something to make it work so and we're, we're also going to redo this uh this is just put together so we could get it done
If you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it, and we will shall see you guys Friday in the new video. Peace.